Yo, what is up? Back in again with another one. This is part two of the conser conservative twins, um, ha aka Haas twins. Like I said before, this is very controversial. Um, I understand your point of view if you don't like or appreciate it. But at the same time, keep your mind open. Don't always be straight. Don't always, you know, get information from the news, I would say. Get your information from different sources, then put them all together and start to, you know, unravel what's true or not. That's all I gotta say. But anyways, like I said before, the original link for this will be down below. Huge appreciation, like, comment, subscribe, and share all that positive energy. You know what I mean? Shout outs to Master Roshi right here. She lit. I ain't gonna lie. I love, I love this. But anyways, um, let me get straight into this right now. <laughs> hey, Brett. You a fool, man. <laughs> How the hell you can compare Pat Tillman to Colin Kaepernick? That's like comparing a damn racehorse. Uh, it's funny. Um, Kaepernick. Shit, it's crazy. I've seen um, the post that he made. Contradicted himself. I have um, saw it. Um... <laughs> I don't know if it's still up. Probably it's deleted. Um, it was um, about the 4th of July, how he said, have a great 4th of July, but at the same time, he's not really saying anything good about him. Like, you say one thing, you say the other. I don't want to get into it, but I'm just going to say I don't know if it's real or fake. Just for, uh, you know, just for the, the saying. I don't so know. a damn donkey. <laughs> Uh, that Brett, you know why you set that record? Because you make horrible decisions. <laughs> horrible decisions. That's why you set that record. Yeah. Not because you were victimized or anything. <laughs> you make horrible decisions. And this was Sometimes, a... Brett, it's, you should just take the sack, buddy. <laughs> That's what I told you about your coach. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can breathe through that. You know how small viruses are? <laughs> it goes right through this. Yeah, look, man. If a fart can make it through your pants and you can smell it, a virus can. <laughs> That's why when you, like, see uh, people that work with deadly viruses yeah. in a lab, they, they got look that like they're going to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> they look like astronauts. Oh, yeah. What's up? Yo. <laughs> Yo, sorry for the background. I've seen this shit. I was like, what the, what the fuck is going on, man? I told you. <laughs> Politics, uh, they have a little com comedy on the side. With all the African stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what you call that, man? Kente Clover? <laughs> this, is this is disrespectful, man. It takes pandering to a whole... But yet no one wants to talk about this shit. What the fuck was going on? <laughs> you know, it came to a point, like... I don't even give a shit anymore. To be honest, there's a lot of buffoonery, bro. A lot of buffoonery. New love. Yeah, this is disrespectful, man. Did y'all learn anything from Elizabeth Warren? <laughs> you want to play African? Go to Africa and play Africa for a while. Yeah. Those Africans are going to laugh at you. Look at this dumb nigga. <laughs> I wish that could go back to America with him. Jesus Christ, shut up. Yo, <laughs> this nigga crazy, bro. Laugh at you. Look at this dumb nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that could go back to America with him. <laughs> Liberals are ridiculous. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> you can identify as a woman. That doesn't make you a woman. You can identify as a man from China. Don't make you Chinese. <laughs> Jesus. My mama, um, my mama grew up in the Jim Crow South, but she always voted Democrat. You know why? She didn't know shit about politics. <laughs> Yikes. Yo. I don't think that's an actual laugh. That that laugh comes with pain. Yo, that laugh comes with pain, man. He ain't laughing. That's that pain. I'm dead ass serious. AOC, it's always something happening to you. Yeah, you always a victim. People don't treat you fairly. Man, sounds horrible. <laughs> Representative Yoho put his finger in my face. He called me disgusting. He called me crazy. He called me out of my mind. In front of reporters, Representative Yoho called me, and I quote, 
a fucking bitch. He jumped over the line. He pulled himself up by his bootstraps and jumped over the line. <laughs> <laughs> right? But uh, I'm still trying to figure out. All right, I'm back. I had to make sure this shit was recording because shit, bro. Hold on. Trying to figure out. Yeah. LC. Where's the lie? <laughs> yeah. Dude. And she also called the detention centers concentration camps. Ooh. Why would you choose that verbiage? I don't recall Jews being fed and yeah. given free health care and yeah. diapers and baby formula provide for their kids. Yeah, that's what's going on at the border. So why do you use that choice of language? Some people would say what you said is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Out of your mind. Damn. Oh, we had a twin moment. Yeah, Some twin people moment. call you an F and B. <laughs> Knowledge makes a man unfit to be a slave. Oh, man, that was epic. Say it again for me. Knowledge makes a person unfit to be a slave. Man, that was beautiful. Yeah, man, hit them hard right there. I bet you they, I bet you they want to punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. The mayor finally did a job. Yeah, when them fools showed up at your house, you figured, man, I got to do something about this. You man. know, I'm going to say something. I shouldn't say it. Yeah, even Trump wouldn't say this. Oh, you don't think Trump said it? No, Trump would say it. He has said it. <laughs> this is what happens when you let low IQ people run your country. They've been taught that America is bad, our history is bad, yeah. but y'all repeat the same mistakes. Re erase those histories, you erase those statues. Yeah. What happened? We doomed to repeat everything over again. You repeating it, and the damn statues are right in front of your face. <laughs> Why are African Americans still dying at the hands of law enforcement in this country? And so are white people. So are white people. What a terrible question to ask. That was one of the dumbest <laughs> questions I ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. You know why? Because it implies a lie. A lie that only black people die at the hands of police officers. Y'all never bring up the good shit white people's done. Yeah. You forget black people sold black Africans to white people. Y'all yeah. keep holding white people accountable. Won't you hold your own people accountable? <laughs> Yo, uh, man. He's getting into deep. He's getting deep, bro. He's getting deep. I really want to... <laughs> Yo, me shit that you don't know about. But yet... It's his story, not our story. I don't mean his story as in, um, the Hot Twins. I mean his his story in a general term. Because we don't know who's writing that story. Because it ain't our story. It's his story. That's all I got to say. It's just the white people? So you mean to tell me white people got on the damn boat, got off the damn boat, died from scurvy, <laughs> malnutrition, and they just start chasing down niggas? <laughs> no. Right? It's a reason why you have uh, white quarterbacks and black wide receivers. <laughs> Just go deep, Tyrone. <laughs> I don't want to pause me a lot, but when, when they hit him with the black history shit, it makes me want to think. It makes me want to talk about it. It's funny how in school they teach us that, you know, we were always slaves, but they never talk about what we were doing before slavery. Bro, we were on the top shit. But we've always been down you know, dumbfounded, like, we've always been dumbed down to the way, it's hard to really explain it, but it's, the full story is not there, it's only part of the story, that's why I say it's his story, not our story, I'll just keep it there. <laughs> Man, what you want the president to do? You want him to jump on the phone like, hey, put Putin on the phone. <laughs> hey, Putin, Trump here, how's it going? Listen here, you balding bitch. <laughs> Next time you meddle in any of our elections, any election, I'm going to drop a bomb on you. Even if he did that, y'all will say that man's abusing his power. <laughs> hey, niggas. You hear what Joe said today? If you don't vote for him, you're not a real nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say it. He, he didn't say it. Well, but technically, that's what he was saying. Um, a lot of people aren't talking about that. They're just ignoring that part. And they're like, oh, Trump said this, Trump said that. I'm like, 
that guy says something too. We ain't talking about him. We're just focusing on one person. We are distracted. And like I said before, um, this is keep be open minded. That's all. <laughs> Y'all stupid enough. Y'all go vote for him too. <laughs> stupid ass nigga. <laughs> When I explain this to black people, it's like talking to a child. I'm like, man, I would make more progress talking to a damn gorilla. <laughs> hey, bro. Look, I'm mind. on your side. <laughs> Trump, baby. Trump 2020. Yeah. Got a patriotic t-shirt today. Discount. Yo. <laughs> Original link for this will be down below. I'm um, huge appreciation. Like, comment, subscribe, share all that positive energy. We like Goku with the spirit bomb thrown in at the head of his face. And also the Matrix. Um, like I said before, be open minded. Don't be strict. Listen to two parts of stories. There's always a yin and yang. You just gotta stir that shit up. You know what I mean? Do a little stimmer. We got balance. That's all I gotta say. I right, peace out.